uh, now I'll give you a brief introduction of Thomas Edison's method uh, of Thomas Edison. He was born on, on February 11, 1847 in Milan. He's a curious boy who was fascinated with science experiment. experiment. Though he, he was partially dead in a young age, it does not stop him from being enthusiastic over science experimentation. With such passion and determination in experimenting uh, science, this made, uh, he, he created a long, a long lasting life now. And now I'm going to talk about the social and scientific impact. And later, that I will be talking the other three impact, economic, economic impact, environmental impact, impact on human safety. And so, social and scientific impact. Firstly, the, the scientific impact. Because there's a there's, there's the long lasting life bulb is able to last for 40 hours. Last for 40 hours. Compared to the light bulb in the past is much longer. Hence, there's an improve in the technology, so there will be an uh, improve in the uh, scientific impact. Okay. Yeah, because it can last longer, it's too practical for household usage compared to the past. Like about its expensive and short lifespan, okay. because they have it's more practical, it's more available available for people to purchase it, and people who have a better source of light regardless of day and night. And next, this having a better source of light, but better source of light, people can have more night activities. For example, they can work from late at night. And, and furthermore, in the past, in the past before the long lasting light is, is invented, the gas lamp is more preferred than electric lamp. Because, because it's cheaper but it is deep and dangerous. But with the invention of long lasting light bulb, gas lamps are replaced with brighter electric lamps. Okay, this will also link back to the scientific impact where, where a great uh, Thomas Edison contribution had changed the world from a gas lamp era to a to an electric lamp era. Okay, I will now pass uh, pass the presentation to Okay. Very good afternoon to all. My name is Tia Kai and I will go into details of the three other factors, namely economical, <coughs> environmental and human safety. The economical factor is the foundation of the growth of every microeconomy. Production and exports were mostly completed in the daytime and there was no work in the sea and night forms. This is as many companies were unable to manufacture goods in the night as there is a shortage of bright light to efficiently carry out the job. One example is the textile industry, where workers have a need to work in bright, luminous environment for sewing. The picture on the screen shows is an example of modern day textile industry where bright lighting is used. It has indeed allowed the textile industry to improve their efficiency and ability to work longer hours and increase quality work. Therefore, the invention of the inconsistent light bulb have provided a better and work environment for the mass production of the plentiful products that require lighting. There are many countries including Canada, England and America who have gained positively from the invention of the light bulb. Focusing on the case study of USA, in which the gross domestic product in Table 2 shows a significant increase in years of 1979 to 1881, after which the light bulb was invented in 1979. Table 1 shows the list of events that occurred with two major events leading to GDP growth. Other than an oil company being founded, um, <coughs> there's another impact that is Thomas Alva Edison who invented the phonography and the electric light bulb. This has successfully 
allow companies to make use of light bulbs to produce for longer hours more effectively. Therefore, I stress that the invention of the light bulb has caused a dramatic shift in the economic area for many countries. Next, environmental impact has been an important issue regarding the global warming situation in current years. Even before 1970, gas lamps were already in use, as shown in this picture, leading to much pollution, including producing smoky, thick, black smoke. These emissions of carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide are poisonous and might even lead to illnesses which include influenza, pneumonia, scarlet fever, and some airborne threats to humans. Therefore, there is a risk of human health in danger and the use of gas lamp will further hurt the earth. Therefore, it enforces the point that Thomas Edison's invention of the light bulb has effectively caused a shift in the environmental factor. Also, the light bulb has affected the impact of human safety. In the past, gas lamps were commonly used. Especially on roads, gas lamps were a common sight. However, these gas lamps were costly and not bright enough. This might lead to many accidents on the road. One example is the World War II, when a blackout occurred, leading <coughs> to 8,272 road accidents. This led to many deaths and the inability to drive safely at night. Transportation and communication were largely behind until the light bulb helped to lead up the roads brightly. Thus, the invention of the light bulb has created a safer environment for us to live in. Thomas Edison has caused a dramatic shift in these areas and benefited the society to a large extent. Therefore, we plan a commemoration to showcase his contributions. I'll now pass the speech on to Kelvin to describe our plans to showcase our groundbreaker, Thomas Albert Edison. Good afternoon, my name is Kelvin and I will be presenting an overview of Edison commemoration with a series of activities my group came out with. My group has come up with this series of activities to commemorate Edison invention as well as let the targeted audience to know this groundbreaker that lies up the road. Edison commemoration is divided into two main events, the skit and the exhibition. And the exhibition is further divided into short films, like the inspiring talk and lastly domino challenge. Now I will go into the skit part. The skit will be performed over a period of two, two weeks in the East Old School. The focus of the skit is the process Edison went through to concord his invention. Our aim of the of this skit is to publicize the exhibition we'll be holding on later. And of my group hope through the skit, the student will also be able to understand the hardship he underwent despite many times of unsuccessful attempts and his never give up attitude. Hence, they will better appreciate like God and not take it for granted. In addition, we hope the student will look upon Thomas Edison as a role model and not to give up easily in their life as well. This is the exhibition that they are. We are be holding our exhibition at the Singapore Science Center. And this is the exhibition layout. And, and there are, these are the various activities we are doing. Next, I will go to the survey result. The survey result show that the preferred method of doing Edison, most, as many as 48% preferred to go through exhibition. That's why we will be holding the exhibition. Next, the documentary. <coughs> The documentary activity will be showing film of Edison giving speech on his invention of light bulb. This is to allow the visitor, especially the targeted audience student, to see him for the first time, as well as having deeper understanding of Thomas Edison through videos. Further